One, two, three. Today I'm gonna show you behind the scenes of this coffee video you just saw and I don't know how this will turn out because I haven't shot anything yet. Uh, so you saw it and if you liked it, hit the like for the YouTube algorithm. So first thing, I created a storyboard of shots that I want to get and how I'll put all that together so I don't forget about anything. I'm not sure if I'll use all the clips at the end but it's better to have more clips and I can later decide if I want to use them or not. But because I'm also a stock photographer and videographer and I'm selling my clips and images online I want to create some more shots which I'll be able to upload to iStock and make some money with them. Usually when you're shooting this type of thing you want to have a black space without any external lights so yeah we have all these ceiling windows here so not ideal and we don't have blinds for them yet but i'll just try to make the best out of it okay let me show you what we have here first thing this is my sony a7s3 and I'll shoot everything with this camera and currently I have Sigma 85mm f1.4 lens on it. And here we have a black backdrop in the back and here we have our product sitting on this black plexiglass and the lights we have are this. So this top down light is Godox VL300 with Godox strip box and a grid on it. And here in the back we have Godox tube lights. I'm not sure which ones are they but uh, I can check that and I'll link all this equipment down in the description if you want to check them out. Okay and these black things right here this is actually just to block the light coming from those tube lights going into the camera and that's it. So for the first few shots I'll actually shoot uh, photos not videos and I'll turn that into videos later in post-production. Why? So uh, first thing is because this plexiglass is a bit small and I can easily extend that in a photo, but I'm not sure how to do that in a video. And second thing, I can easily remove all this dirt on the back or the plexiglass in Photoshop. Yeah, it would take a lot of time to do that in a video. So for this specific shot, I want to create two shots and I'll combine them later in post-production because this gold story sign here it's actually gold but with this lighting it's just black. So later I'll add another light and I'll make a transition where this sign will actually pop out. Okay and let's do a few shots. Let me focus. So for the second shot, I'll add another light from the front and I'll check where this uh, gold sign will show up. Okay, that was it for this shot. Let's change the product. Okay, so I switched the product with this coffee grinder and I'll take a few more images of this. We also need a shot of this coffee pot. I also have to clean this. I think it's even worse now. <laughs> I probably have to check a YouTube video about how to clean a plexiglass. Okay, so we'll move to the last shot that will be actually a photo. That will be the final shot with coffee, coffee grinder and a cup of coffee, everything laid down here. Because this plexiglass is too small, I'll just lay everything on this black paper and yeah, let's see what we get. So for this next shot, I only want to capture this label close up. 
and that's why I also switched to Laura 90 mm macro lens. And I have this cheap turntable here and yeah, let's do it. Okay, that was perfect. Okay, for this next shot I want the grinder to open and I attached these two fishing uh, wires. Yeah, and I'll pull that up and I hope I'll mask that out in post-production. And let's go. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. I hope that was good. So for this next shot, I want coffee falling down into the grinder. Uh, I tried a few times, but I'll do that a few more times. And three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, now I also want to shoot this uh, coffee falling into the grinder top down. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, we got some shots and I think this will work for now. And let's move to the next one. Okay, so what I want to do now is uh, get a shot of grinder grinding coffee. Uh, I taped this button over here, so it's always on. And I also added this uh, plastic pin here because it has this security feature, so you can't turn it on if the cup is not fully closed. So yeah, don't try to do it at home. And three, two, one. Okay. Um, that was not what I expected. Okay, we'll also try to get a shot with this uh, cap on. <sighs> Coffee break. Okay, now I want to create a few more close-up shots. For example, coffee falling down, coffee falling from the spoon, pouring coffee from a coffee pot and stuff like that. So let's just go into it. Okay, uh, it's already dark outdoors, so conditions for shooting are much, much better now. And we still have a few more shots to take. And yeah, let's go. Okay. So uh, I recreated this grinder shot because the last one, when I have the grid on my light, you could see the reflections there and I didn't like that. So I think now it looks much better. Okay, and I think now we can move to the last shot of the day. So for this shot, I have this aquarium here and what I want to do is capture coffee falling into the water. I tried to block all the lights around the aquarium so I don't get any reflections but yeah still it doesn't look very promising so uh, yeah we'll see what we'll get. Nah, I'm not really happy about it. <sighs> I'm not sure if I should repeat it or not. 
Okay, um, I waited for quite some time. Uh, it doesn't look very promising, but uh, yeah, let's do it anyway. Okay, that's it. I'm not sure, but maybe I'll actually use this shot. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. It was a little bit long day. But uh, anyway, if you like this kind of content, let me know. So maybe in the future I'll make more of this. Now I have to put everything together, add some sound effects and some other stuff. And I'll play the video once again. And I hope I'll see you next time.